have selected wow. Breland Speaks, defensive lineman uh, out of Ole Miss, to shore up that run D. This is, this is not what I expected. Uh, it's another defensive interior lineman. It does fill a need, but I'm kind of intrigued by his fit with Kansas City. I think Speaks is a three technique. He's a little, he's a tweener. He's too big to be a defensive end, not fast enough. He's a little undersized and underpowered to be an interior defensive lineman, but he's versatile and a good athlete. The big knock on him in terms of off the field, he doesn't control his emotions very well. Multiple ejections and DUI arrest. He's a bit of a tweener. He has a good pass rusher again. He saw the eight tackles for loss, seven sacks there. So the upside is there. He's raw. Might be best as a five tick, which I guess makes sense there for Kansas City. I'm surprised this is the pick. I'm surprised they moved up for Speaks, who I thought was going to be on the board there. I think he could be a, a Ricky Jean Francois, Quentin Dial type, hopefully better. I had Breland Speaks as a third round or second slash or th a third round grade for me, number 88 overall. This is not the pick I would have made if I was Kansas City. I don't like moving up for it. I am surprised and a little bit disappointed. A lot of good secondary guys left to go for an interior defensive lineman when there are better guys left. It's not the pick I would have made if I was Kansas City. All right. Obviously, the Chiefs like Breland Speaks a lot, trading up to number 46 overall to get him.